it's Randy T-Bird out here in Arizona a fine February 17th Saturday morning just out for a ride last weekend was taken up with some house hunting stuff and uh, so I didn't get much riding in yesterday or last weekend so but today this weekend I'm out for a ride uh, just dealing with Saturday morning traffic on the 101 here gotta watch out this is a tricky stretch of road here if you live in the valley you know what I mean uh, been an interesting uh, spring so far if you want to call February spring we've had some cold weather we've had some rain we've had some snow up north a lot of snow up north and uh, and then we've had uh, now we got uh, 75 degrees coming up it's been in the low 70s um, second half of the week and it's getting getting better for the weekend and it's looking really good coming up so there's even some possibilities of 80 degrees uh, somewhere in the state probably out on the west out by the Colorado River but uh, anyway pretty nice weather today so I'm just out just uh, been house hunting and I think we may have uh, got some ideas and uh, some things uh, we're looking at so should be good but in the meantime just enjoying this beautiful day hope you're all doing well and there you've had a chance maybe to get out and look at the the new uh, 2024s to see how they're affecting uh, kind of a polarized situation with these bikes uh, some people don't like the new styling uh, I like it I think it looks good but uh, yeah everybody has their own tastes you know and that, that's cool me I've just become kind of set in my ways but I'm open to change too yeah, the mountains were covered with snow or uh, earlier in the week it looks like most of it has melted off now yeah 70 degrees will do that but uh, even though some of the mountains are as high as 7,700 feet up there so it's amazingly uh, amazing how quickly the weather changes around here and there's quite a bit of traffic out today that's later than I usually get out it's right around noon so everybody's out shopping and doing whatever they do on Saturdays won't be too far until I'm off the off the freeway and out of the city so that's the the beauty of this this ride is you get out fast just enjoying the diner today uh, recording some 4k video today so hopefully that'll turn out good uh, I've been working on the audio that's uh, seems to be doing good as well so all in all that's good uh, this is randy i'll be back in a little bit with more video hey it's randy i'm back just out i uh, finally hit the highway out here and still a fair, fair bit of traffic today but we'll get past it it's a nice porsche there yeah, i always always wanted one of those I don't know whether I'd like it once I got it, but I sure always liked it. Got some clouds off in the distance there over the superstitions. And, uh, I don't know what that's going to bring, if anything. Probably nothing. Just a nice, mostly blue sky today. And I was reading some stuff uh, on the web about uh, electric motorcycles and them being so-called the future. You know, and, and I gotta say, electric motorcycles do absolutely nothing for me at all. I don't know, maybe it was the era that I grew up in. Uh, frankly, I think they're a scam. And people will disagree, you know, but it still takes fossil fuels to manufacture them. The batteries are toxic. Uh, and, you know, frankly, there's no soul to them. You know, if, if you want soulless transportation, ride the bus. You know, if, if you've got one, well, yeah, that's 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 your choice. That is the, the beauty of living here in this great country that we live in is that you do have choices to do things that you want. 
but I don't know, the whole electric vehicle thing just seems like a scam. I, I prefer, if I was to go in that, uh, maybe a hybrid. Um, Ford's making a, a small pickup called the Maverick, and they make a hybrid version that gets to like 40 miles to the gallon, uh, which is pretty impressive for a small car. But, you know, my little car gets about 30, 32 and more once you're, if you go on a long highway trip, and I've even got close to 30 out of the, the Ranger that we have, the gas motor, and they're, you know, the emissions have been tamed quite a bit since the 1970s, and I don't know, they say electric bikes are the future, well, it ain't gonna be part of my future, and honestly, uh, electric vehicle sales are stagnating, uh, yeah, you see a lot of Teslas, but, you know, I heard they just recalled a whole bunch of them. But, you know, that's it. I, I just, they don't, they do absolutely nothing for me. You know, I, an electric Harley-Davidson, the live wire, they had some at the dealership, and, you know, people talk about how quick they are, you know. But, you know, that seems like all the soul of an electric wheelchair to me. You know, Harley Davidsons are about feel and sound and and whatever and just a vibration free, you know, minor hum or a whine of an electric vehicle. Yeah, just you know shit, you might as well just stay home. You know. I had to get off on a little bit of a rant today, but I just read so much and they're really trying to shove them shove them down our throats, I think, you know, yeah, have what you want, but, you know, <laughs> don't tell me that it's a great thing, again, beautiful day, you get a little farther away from town, and the smog slips away, and it's beautiful, I don't know if we'll see any wild horses today, uh, a couple of a couple of weeks ago I was up this way and they were, they were right down by the road, which was pretty cool. They were talking about people wanting to get rid of them, but uh, you know, it's part of the American West. The wild horses, they're just kind of majestic creatures out there on their own. As you come up farther here up the highway when you're getting closer to Red Mountain, which is dead ahead, uh, just past the canal up there, yeah, you sometimes see them. And the Central Arizona Project Canal that they built many years ago to bring Colorado River water back down to the valley. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to this year getting out of the valley. Uh, I'll still be close to the desert. I'll be literally, everything works out the way we, we hope. I'll probably be less than 40 miles away from the the communities of New River and Black Canyon City, which are in the desert, and then not far from Prescott, Arizona, not far from Flagstaff, uh, Williams, all the North Country there, without having to go through a ton of city to get to it. So I think uh, me and the rural lifestyle will, will uh, get along pretty well. So the only thing I will have to do is probably commute to the valley for work at least uh, three or four days a week but uh, you know we can do that we can do that and uh, if we need to uh, anyhow I'm well, just out and about today just riding enjoying the day so this is Randy T. Bird out here in Arizona and uh, Hope you're enjoying everything, and uh, maybe you get a chance to get out for rides. If you're not, you get to do some motorcycle stuff, or nothing else. You're just watching videos on YouTube of the people that live in areas where you can ride. Uh, Tim Finning out in Australia. Uh, I've been watching his videos. It's summer down there, so it looks like he just got a new road glide. Tim, if you're watching, hope you're enjoying that new bike. And uh, anyway, Randy T. Bird out here. Don't forget to subscribe. Like my videos, share, tell a friend, feel free to comment, and I hope you're having a great time, and we'll talk to you again.